was supposed to everything on that early. Because never know if you ever stepped into your coffee. That was gonna be funny. No, there was a word out there that the deliverer was born. We know what's Moses. Yes. But Pharaoh said, is the deliverer born? Uh, kill all baby boys. Two-year-old and younger, kill them. Why would Pharaoh kill all two-year-old boys? Is he scared of babies? No. He's scared of their purpose. Because if they ever grow up to be the object. Same thing with King Herod when Jesus was born. And there's a Savior born. Kill all babies. Kill all to his purpose. So now most kids don't look like their purpose. Most youth are not functioning in their purpose. Because the enemy got them while they're young. <laughs> but it's too late. The chain and the bondage may be great, but God is greater. He can break any chain. He can destroy any of them. Do I have a witness out here? Has anybody ever been delivered and set free? Out of here, out of y'all. What is the last song? I just want to encourage everybody in here that whatever you're in, you can snap out. You can snap out of it. This, allow me to say this. Thank you, Pastor Donnie, for the extra time. This is a season of intense focus. I'm going to say it again. I feel the spirit on that. I'm not trying to hype y'all, as you can see. I know I get the crowd hype. I'm not trying to do that. Okay. Pastor Donnie got up here with a crazy warning, and I think we kind of like, so what? Like, that's Israel on our land. Do you understand what that means? If Israel, do you understand biblically what, where we're at on the timeline of the coming of Christ? That's the end. He came out with a clear a warning. I heard the sound of a general a clear out a warning. This is the season of intense focus. I'm gonna do one more story and I'll let you go. Please take this serious. Be sober right now. Be sober. Be vigilant. Peter and the disciples see Jesus walking on the water. They were scared. Who was that? Jesus just fed 5,000. They just saw him do a miracle, but now they can't recognize him in the storm. It's hard to recognize Jesus in a storm. I was trying to keep it, but I'll keep moving. I'm going to keep moving. I'll get a word on the street. Peter said, if it's you, tell me to come. What did Jesus say? Come. Peter steps, oh my Lord. Peter steps out on the water. Starts walking on the water. He starts doing what God called him to do. some friends behind on the boat. None of the friends are wrong. None of them are filthy sinners, but God just called me to something different. And if you're so connected to people on the boat, you'll miss what you're supposed to do next. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? If you're so connected to your friends that's on the boat, you'll never do what God calls you to do, because he called you to something different. Who knows the Bible? Can I preach to the people who know the Bible? 